Hello everyone. How's everyone today? Welcome to the Dirt Road Farmer. Well, we're going to get started uh, putting lime on this cornfield that we harvested yesterday. So, let's pull up our HUD and let's clear the current course. And we're going to put a new course in him. Now let's come up here where we can see what we're doing. Create a job. We want course play field work. Field position. Oh, yeah, about right there. Course. One tool. One headland. Uh, start working on the headlands. That's fine. Everything else looks good. Let's do the field work course. Alright, we got that done. Now, I decided to sell the pull behind uh, a spreader that we use for lime spreading. I decided to, to get rid of that because this little spreader spreads a big path. And uh, and right now, that's kind of what we're in for. So, all right, we got a temporary course, first waypoint. Let's tell him to go to work. All right, we'll get rid of that little HUD. All right, you see what I mean about a wide width? And right now, uh, I have my workers buy the lime and fertilizer. Uh, you know, it just, I know it's not that realistic. It is realistic to have them buy it and put it on a charge account for you. But the way they buy it, I know, is not real realistic. But uh, we're still paying for it. If you look up there in the top uh, right-hand corner, you can see that we're definitely paying for that lime. So uh, that's, that's where we're at. And I just want to get the job done. So uh, we're going to get out of here. And we're going to see if we can't buy a uh, mulcher and, uh, and a plow. Because we're going to need both of them, and we don't have either one of them. So, anyway, I'm going to see what we can do about that. I'll get back with you in a few minutes. Well, I would say this guy is flat making short work out of putting lime on this field. <laughs> yeah, he is almost done. It won't take him long and he'll be done. We, uh, we purchased a mulcher and that's what we'll do next is mulch and we also purchased a plow. So <clears throat> Uh, yeah, we're going to have to plow it before we can plant. That's, that's just the rules of FS-19, or FS-22, I'm sorry. Uh, but it was the rule of FS-19 also. Uh, it just carried over to FS-22, that's all. But there's four different crops that you need to plow after you harvest. Those four crops are number one, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, and sugar cane. Those are your four crops that you always need to plow according to FS22 uh, before replanting or else uh, you will suffer a 
yields lost on your next crop. So, yeah, I don't make the rules. I don't set it up. I just try to do what I have to do in order to produce a great crop. So, anyway, we're going to let this guy finish, and then we'll get our mulcher in here. All right, we got that field limed. And boy, it didn't take long at all. So, <clears throat> our next step is we're going to mulch it. So, well, we got to wait for it to save. So now we can go out down here and clear the current course that's in that tractor. <clears throat> and we want to create a job. Field position. About right there. Uh, create the course. Alright. We want him to go clockwise. Number of headlands. Yeah, three's alright. We'll let him do three of them. Uh, start work on the headlands first, I guess. Because it's not really going to make a difference. We're going to go in and plow it whenever we get done. <laughs> uh, clockwise, up and down is fine. Alright. Let's do the field work course now. All right, you got that done. All right, let's bring up the small HUD. We've got a temporary course. First waypoint, let's just tell him to go to work. We'll see what he does. Now, I didn't unfold that thing because you know how it is. They, they kind of like to do that themselves. So we'll let them do it theirself. You know, I, hey, I'm not hard to get along with. <laughs> All right. Now, let's get this guy up and rolling. Good deal. And I think three, three headland passes will be enough. That'll give him room to turn around. Uh, this is kind of a, a wide implement, so I wanted to make sure that we give him plenty of room. So, anyway. We're going to turn him loose and let him get started, let him do it. And uh, we've got rain in the forecast. Hopefully it doesn't rain until we get done doing what all we need to do. I don't know, I really don't think, that we're going to get this field planted tonight. I think we're going to do good to get it plowed. But, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Rain may hold off. Of course, we can plow if it's raining. But uh, I really don't like to, you know. So, but anyway, let's let this guy do his job. We'll get back with you when we get a little farther along. Well, we had to make a change. <laughs> uh, the tractor I had on this... Uh, when we started, just didn't seem to have enough horsepower to pull this mulcher up and down these hills. I mean, it would pull it, but it would slow way down. So, I had to go get the big boy, and he's not having any problem at all with it. So, anyway, uh... I think the horsepower requirements on some of these implements are just not quite accurate, but that's all right. Uh, you know, <laughs> they do make the equipment, and we can get the equipment to pull it, so I guess that's all that matters. 
but anyway uh, we're just going to keep on mulching this and uh, and then we're going to get it plowed but so far the winter, the rain has held off and uh, <laughs> yeah maybe just maybe we'll get this plowed I don't know we'll see but anyway I'll get back with you when we get a little farther along all right <laughs> we uh, we bought a new case now this is a mod case modded case uh, it's 692 horse and uh, that middle tractor that we had I don't remember what the number is on it I think we're going to go ahead and sell it to help pay for this one uh, but yes uh, this thing is a beast so we're going to try to get this field plowed and depending on how long it takes us to get it plowed uh, will depend on whether we get it planted tonight now the planter that we have will cultivate it's uh, it'll cultivate as it puts the second stage of fertilizer down and the seed so yes so anyway uh, we're gonna let this guy do his job and uh, we'll get back with you when we get a little farther along all right well this guy is getting right along I've uh, I've got him set to skip a row uh, he made three headland passes and he is skipping a row and where he will stop when this all comes to an end is over there at the end over there on the side that row that comes to a point that's where it'll all come to an end that's where his stop sign is at so <laughs> Uh, he is just walking across this field now. Uh, he's doing that like he knows what he's doing. Uh, yeah, I reckon he does. So, absolutely. So anyway, uh, we're just going to let him do it. And uh, we'll, we'll uh, get back with you as, when we get a little farther. Uh, one thing I wanted to do before I uh, forget and I want to give a big shout out to all my subscribers uh, and everyone that has watched and liked my videos you guys are number one you guys are the best I really do appreciate you from the bottom of my heart I appreciate you uh, I'm having fun uh, I started making these videos for my grandkids uh, because you have you ever sat there and at some point in your life and say you know I wish I could hear grandpa's voice one more time well that's kind of why I started this uh, video and started this channel is I want my grandkids to always be able to come and watch grandpa now here in the very near future uh, I will be putting my picture uh, down in the bottom left hand corner that's coming very soon so uh, yes uh, and then everybody can know put a face to the voice that they're hearing on this video so anyway I'll get back with you uh, when we get a little farther all right well uh, I thought a while ago that I would come down here and check this small field that we bought to see where it's at 
and it needs to be harvested. So I thought maybe we would get a jump on it. We probably will not harvest it until tomorrow. But I thought I'd get a jump on it anyway. And, uh, you know, we'd be ready to do it. Uh, yeah. There, it's not a, it's, we're not going to get a whole lot of yield off of it. But, uh, when we get done, you know, we're going to lime it, do everything that needs to be done to it. And, uh, and this is a draper header. So it comes where the wheels fold up underneath it, which is great. So anyway, uh, it's not going to have a whole lot of yield to it. But that's okay. Uh, like I said, when we get done with it, uh, we will have. So, anyway, we'll get on that sometime in the morning. Maybe while we're planting the other field. Because I don't think we're going to have time tonight to plant it. But, uh, anyway, we're going to get back up there and check on our other guy. All right. Well, this guy is flat getting across this field now. Uh, yes. It just seems to work out a lot better uh, if I have them skip a row. And that's what I did with this guy. Uh, yes, I mean, it, it, it works great. So, but anyway... Uh, I guess we're going to call this a video. Uh, we're not going to be able to get this planted tonight. Uh, and tomorrow, if it is not raining on the map, uh, we will start off planting this. And then our field down there in the bottom... Uh, it's soybeans. There won't be a whole lot on it, but it needs to be harvested. So, while the guy is planting this field, then we'll go down there and we'll harvest that. I think uh, we're probably looking at somewhere around uh, 150, 150, maybe 160,000 liters maybe come off of that field because uh, whoever planted it just put seed in the ground. Uh, yeah. So it's, uh, it's not going to have much of a yield. But we'll do it the same way we did this, uh, only we won't have to plow it because corn wasn't planted in it. It's soybeans. So anyway, uh, we'll take care of that tomorrow. But, uh, yes, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, would please do. I would sure appreciate it. Go down there and hit that like button. If you've liked the content, do me a world of good. But as for me, the dirt road farmer, I think we're going to call this a day. And as always... Thank you for watching.